this is everything I sold over the weekend. Uh, all of it was about $400 and uh, most of it was on auction because I put 53 things on auction. I needed to make some money pretty quick so I uh, put a ton of stuff on auction that I had in my store for quite a while. I'm going to go through everything and kind of explain a little bit. This is a little tiny stein and the brand is G-E-R-Z. but it's a really good brand to find for steins they make all different kinds of designs that's a good one this is a GameCube Pikmin it sold for 25 I think uh, that was 30 this is a brand of sandals it's pretty good it's called Wolki and that uh, it actually had a few bids on it I believe so it was something people were looking for uh, this is a really nice brand to find uh, called Tiva. Uh, pretty much all of their sandals sell for a good amount of money. So if you ever find any with uh, cloth Velcro straps, definitely look them up and see if they are the Tevas. This is a Polaroid with a bag. And I never got the bag before, but I've sold a ton of Polaroids. I normally get them for about $4 and sell them for $20. But this one I was able to sell it for 25 or 30 I can't remember for sure. Uh, this is a really good brand of shoe to find. It's called SAS. And it's kind of a orthopedic uh, for older people, I guess. <laughs> and that one actually retails at $100. I had another pair that was in a little bit better shape. And I sold them for 60 I think. And I've sold a ton of pairs of those. I don't know if maybe one person donated them all or what, but I bought like eight pairs at Goodwill not too long ago. This is a really good brand to look out for. It's uh, Merrill. Merrill. Uh, I don't know if you can read that. I just posted those not too long ago and I sold them right away. I sold those for 25 this is uh, dress shoes with the tassels. It was called woven. The soles were in really good shape. Uh, Cole Hawn is the brand. Uh, I've bought a lot of Cole Hawns and some are worth a lot and some are worth nothing. I really don't understand why. But these ones had a bunch of watchers and I believe they sold for 30. Uh, this thing's pretty cool. It's a little um, it's a kangaroo, a boxing kangaroo. And it's got this slot on the back. It's a, got a, it's called a caddy. And the brand is Fine Entertainment. And the reason why I guess those things are worth quite a bit is because they were in a movie. And, uh, not that particular one, but it was a prop in a movie, and everyone likes to collect them. This was probably one of the best things that I sold. <clears throat> it's a jacket. It says International Harvester. If you find anything that's old, farming related, that's in good shape, <clears throat> it's definitely worth checking out. Uh, Another good thing about this jacket was that it's a Swingster. Swingster made uh, a lot of old uh, nylon jackets, I think they are. And uh, that one sold for 46 and I had quite a few bids on it. This is a pretty awesome pair of shoes. Uh, they're called wingtips because of that. And the brand is Kohan again. And these ones were, I believe they were like a higher end one because they were going for about $100 on eBay used. I had mine up there for $140 for a long time. No one bought them, but I had a ton of watchers. And I put them on auction, and then after the auction ended, someone asked to buy them. And then I sold them for $50. This is a book 
that I had picked up at a Goodwill. It was just uh, random. I couldn't find anything good. And I saw the edge of it and it looked pretty rough. So I checked it out. And it turns out that that book is a first English edition. And one's with, with the dust jacket, which mine doesn't have the dust jacket, but one's with it had sold for over a hundred dollars I believe and so I bought it and then I've had it listed for a hundred bucks for quite a while and no one bought it so I put it at auction at 30 and someone bid on it and bought it uh, this is a part I bought a few uh, Ronco Showtimes at the beginning of summer and uh, this is one of the parts that's left over. They, a lot of the parts sell right away and then stuff like this kind of just trickles down. And it's the timer with the motor in it. And uh, that you have to take it apart to get that out, but it's a good thing to sell. Uh, these are boots called Justin. Uh, there we go, Justin. And that, I guess, it's a really good brand. Never heard of it. But uh, those sold for 30 And then the last thing is these uh, clip shoes for road bike racing. Or mountain bike, I guess. Or you could probably use BMX too. But uh, I had those up there for a whole lot. And I lowered the price down to 30 And I was able to sell it at auction at 30 bucks. So... That was everything I got over the weekend and sold it. And I made about $400. So if you have any questions, leave me a comment. Or you could uh, like or subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much. Have a good day.